That's Might be time for an intervention, huh? <laughs> it's like apple tree maze. This apple tree got neglected last year and the year before uh, just because of a couple of long stories. But this year it's time to prune it and I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, the goal here is to prune it but not overdo it. If you overdo it, you can damage the tree. If you do it right, you'll help the tree. So today on Garden Fork, pruning trees my way. Ready? Here we go. Step one, throw the ball as far as you can. Now prune. <laughs> We're pruning. No matter. So the big things to do when you're pruning is you want to prune what are called water spouts or sprouts, which are limbs that go straight up because apple trees, fruit trees, you want to have an arching habit and you want to prune things that are crossing. Here's a great example of something that needs to be pruned. There are two small limbs here and you can see that they're starting to rub on this larger limb. There's a little bit of damage there. So I'm going to cut out the smaller ones and let the bigger one grow. So I'm going to take that out and then take that out and then this will grow and it'll be a good thing. Do you have to cut at an angle? No, you want to cut uh, at the base of that little limb, uh -huh. but not cutting into the trunk. So ones like this that are shooting straight up, we want to cut them down here. You want to use the loppers for that. So here you, you can see how, here how this is laying in on top of here, which is a bad thing. And we're going to follow this back and we can cut it right here. This uh, is a, I think it's called a Japanese style blade. It cuts on the push and the pull. It's very nice for this sort of thing. By the way, if this is a big limb, you want to notch below here first so the bark doesn't strip down this way as it drops. And then I cut it here. Like that, it's a beautiful thing. And that way, the bark didn't pull and strip off onto the part of the trunk that we want to keep. The hardest part of this is getting all these limbs out of here. Too bad the Labradors don't want these sticks. This is a giant one that has a big sprout on it and is rubbing here. So I want to follow it back and take it out here. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to cut it up here first. So I do a bottom cut and then I do a top cut. Pinching, there we go, that's out of the way. And then I'm gonna go back and do a clean cut here. It's easier to work with then. I've got the giant limb out of the way. And get that out of the way. And I can cut this nice and clean. Nice cut. This goes all the way up. That needs to come out. This is coming in. That's going up. We should take this whole thing out here. Sometimes you have to be kind of brutal and take out a big limb like this one here. That was bad. Down, stay. Ow. 
Ouch, sorry about that. So all this came from that, and that's a little drastic, yeah, but there's a couple years of neglect there. All right, a bit of an improvement here. Again, you're ideally supposed to take 25% or less of the tree. Sometimes you gotta be a little brutal about it. Some of these you think about, wait a minute, Eric, this is still shooting straight up. These are nimble enough that I can put some string on here and I can bend this down. You could either tie it right to the ground, tie it to a rock or a two by four with a screw eye that so it hangs, has some weight, um, or just another limb. And you can, instead of making this a water sprout, if it's nimble enough, you can make it a fruiting limb, which is the whole idea here, especially in Garden Fork. But there you go. If I can do it, you can do it. Just, I don't really know. You're gonna have to go out and do it and you might overdo it, but underdoing it, I think, is also maybe not good. And you gotta really, you're fighting nature. So no matter what you do in a couple years, nature's gonna come right back and do what it wants. So the idea here is kind of an open habit, easy to harvest air gets through it so uh, it doesn't get funguses and things like that but again it's garden fork so done is better than perfect um, if you like what you're seeing here we put out videos every week subscribe button is below there's a link below also to our other gardening and pruning videos and everything else we put out so make it a great day let me know what you guys think about pruning in the comments below See you. Oh, <laughs> oh,